Hello there, and welcome to Level Update. Lake Powell, one of America's most vital water reservoirs, continues to experience an unsettling decline in 2025. As of October 30, 2025, the lake's elevation stands at 3,545.49 feet above mean sea level. That's 154.51 feet below its full pool capacity of 3,700 feet. This number alone tells a sobering story, but when we look deeper into the trends, the situation becomes even more alarming. Comparing the current year's chart with 2024, the difference is unmistakable. Last year, around this same period, the water level was sitting close to 3,580 feet, a full 35 feet higher than what we are seeing now. That drop is not a minor fluctuation. It represents a massive volume of missing water, translating to billions of gallons that have vanished from one of the most crucial water storage systems in the U.S. Southwest. Throughout early 2025, the lake began the year near 3,570 feet, continuing a slow but steady decline through spring. In past years, such as 2024, we saw a noticeable rebound during late spring and early summer, a surge that lifted the lake's level by nearly 25 feet, peaking around June. But this year, that rise never truly materialized. The brief increase in midsummer 2025 was short lived, barely enough to make a visible dent before the graph once again plunged downward. The blue curve representing 2025 shows a worrying pattern. It starts high, flattens around May, slightly bumps in July, and then drops continuously through fall. This consistent decline means that the inflow from upstream sources was not enough to counteract the steady outflow and evaporation losses. Even though 2024 also showed a late-season decline, it happened from a much higher starting point, giving the reservoir more resilience. In contrast, the 2025 trend begins lower and sinks even faster. When you look closely at the graph's vertical scale, you notice how much tighter the 2025 data line hugs the danger zone near 3,540 feet. That's just above the critical threshold where power generation at Glen Canyon Dam becomes inefficient. The difference of a few feet might sound small, but operationally it's massive. Hydroelectric output drops, intake gates face increased pressure, and the risk of hitting minimum power pool becomes real. This level, 3,545 feet may not sound catastrophic, but historically it's among the lowest sustained levels since the lake's creation in the 1960s. Engineers and water managers are watching closely because any further dip could trigger emergency operational changes at the Glen Canyon Dam. The dam's turbines depend on water pressure to generate electricity for millions of people across the region. Reduced head pressure means less power output and more strain on alternative energy sources. Another worrying aspect is how quickly the 2025 level line diverges from 2024. In early May, both years tracked nearly together, hovering around 3,560 feet. But by midsummer, the 2024 curve skyrocketed while the 2025 curve stayed flat, forming a visible gap of more than 20 feet. This widening gap is what experts refer to as a water deficit interval, a period when inflow and retention fail to balance out the cumulative losses. The difference in surface elevation may seem like an abstract figure, but its real-world consequences are very tangible. At current levels, dozens of boat ramps are unusable, marinas are relocating docks and access points are closing one after another. Recreational boating, fishing, and tourism are all being affected. Beneath the surface, the ecological balance of the lake is also being tested. Sediment exposure increases, and previously submerged zones are now drying and cracking.
This continuing drop also impacts water allocation downstream. Lake Powell serves as a buffer between the upper and lower Colorado River basins. With reduced volume, the ability to meet downstream delivery obligations becomes more difficult. The Colorado River Compact demands certain flow levels to maintain balance among states and even international commitments. When Powell's level sinks below certain benchmarks, the Bureau of Reclamation is forced to trigger conservation and release adjustments, actions that ripple through the entire river system. So while some might see this as just another seasonal variation, the 2025 data reveals a deeper and more persistent decline. The chart clearly shows that Lake Powell's ability to recover each year is weakening. Each low-level season starts from a lower base and fails to fully recharge, forming a downward staircase pattern over time. Now, it's important to understand that this discussion isn't about climate change. It's about water management, allocation, and the physical dynamics of the reservoir. Even with normal precipitation, the storage system can still decline if inflows are diverted, releases increase, or sedimentation reduces usable capacity. As we enter November 2025, the outlook remains tense. The latest readings show a daily drop of 0.04 feet, which may appear insignificant, but over weeks it accumulates into measurable losses. If this downward pattern continues through winter, Lake Powell could approach the critical 3,540-foot mark, a symbolic and operational red line. To put this in perspective, every foot of elevation at Lake Powell equals roughly 70,000 acre-feet of water, enough to supply hundreds of thousands of homes. A loss of even 5 feet translates to 350,000 acre-feet gone, showing just how sensitive the system is. As the year closes, all eyes are on how the reservoir behaves over the next few months. Will winter inflows stabilize the lake, or will the decline persist into early 2026? The stakes are high, not only for hydroelectric power, but for agriculture, city water supplies, and recreational livelihoods across the Southwest. In conclusion, the 2025 Lake Powell level of 3,545 feet is not just a number. It's a signal, a signal of tightening water margins, a narrowing safety buffer, and a reminder that the system is operating closer to its limits than ever before. The difference between 2025 and 2024 isn't merely visual on the chart. It's a tangible warning about how fragile the balance of this iconic reservoir has become. As we continue to track Lake Powell's story, every new reading tells us more about the future of this incredible reservoir. The numbers may change day by day, but the trend is what truly matters, and we'll keep following it closely. If you found this analysis useful, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss future updates on Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and other major U.S. water systems. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.